Another important aspect of the information mentioned in the verses of the Quran is the developmental stages of a human in the mother's womb. It is stated in the verses that in the mother's womb first the bones develop and then the muscles form which wrap around these bones. We then formed the drop into a clot and formed the clot into a lump and formed the lump into bones and clothed the bones in flesh and then brought him into being as another creature. Blessed be God, the best of creators. Embryology is a branch of science that studies the development of embryos in the mother's womb. Until very recently, embryologists assumed that the bones and muscles in an embryo developed at the same time. For this reason, for a long time, some people claimed that these verses were in conflict with science. Yet, advanced microscopic research conducted by virtue of new technological developments has revealed that the revelation of the Quran is word by word correct. These examinations at the microscopic level showed that the development inside the mother's womb takes place in just the way it is described in the verses. First, the cartilage tissue of the embryo ossifies. Then, muscular cells that are selected from among the tissue around the bones come together and wrap around these bones. This event is described in a scientific publication with the following words. During the seventh week, the skeleton begins to spread throughout the body and the bones take their familiar shapes. At the end of the seventh week and during the eighth week, the muscles take their positions around the bone forms. In short, man's developmental stages as they are described in the Quran are in perfect harmony with the findings of modern embryology.